Hi all, in this video we are going to see how to fine tune large language models using just a single command, right? Using just one line of code. Basically we are going to use a tool developed by Hugging Face which is known as Auto Train. So primarily you can use it in two ways. You can use the user interface or the graphical interface that is available through the Hugging Face website or you can use the command line utility. In this particular video, we are going to see the command line utility of Autotrain and fine-tune large language models. So basically, Autotrain is a no-code to tool for training state-of-the-art models for NLP tasks, for computer vision tasks, speech, or even tabular tasks, right? And it is very simple to use, just in a single line of code, you can fine-tune any large language model. So what do you need in order to fine-tune these large language models is three things. First of all, a base model on which to fine tune. Second, understanding the task that you want to fine tune for, say for example, question answering, or you want to do it for text generation, or a chat based model. Third, preparing the data set in the right format for fine tuning. Let us see each of these step by step in this particular lecture. Make sure to watch till the end, and if you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So first of all, we need to import certain packages. We need to install Autotrain Advanced and we need to install Hugging Face Hub. Okay, we are installing Hugging Face Hub. Why? Because we want to utilize the models from Hugging Face Hub. And we shall run this entire thing in Google Colab environment so you can replicate it very well. We are using a, the T4 GPU from provided by Google Colab in the free tier, right? If you are using a paid version, you can very well use so. So once we install these two packages, next thing, now we, uh, there is additional command in Autotrain. Basically, this is used to upgrade the packages based on the requirement, based on the latest version of these packages. And the very reason we are doing so here is because Google Colab does not have Torch 2.0. So we are using Autotrain setup in order to update Torch and bring the packages to the configurable version or to the required version by auto train so it will automatically set up okay just a second here so once we have installed the packages auto train advanced and hugging face hub next we need to do is import some of the modules from transformers library we are importing auto model with lm head auto tokenizer and auto model for causal lm so in this particular tutorial, we are going to fine tune or I'll show you how to fine tune a GPT based model as well as a Llama 2 model. Okay, so the first step as we discussed, the first step here that needs to be taken care of is choosing the base model. There is a, no standard rule as to how you should choose your base model, but depending on how the different models such as GPT or Llama 2 or T5 are generated. For example, Llama 2 models are good at instruction based uh, instruction based tasks right whereas gpt is good for text generation predicting the next token so based on this and based on your required task you need to select a base model so currently we are choosing here a gpt2 base model now what is a base model basically a base model is one which does not have a specific task head right you have a neural network architecture a transformer architecture and on top of that architecture you train it for specific tasks say question answering say text generation or uh, you say text summarization. So those are the specific layers of the model that are fine-tuned. Okay, so now here, like once I have this model, a base model here, GPT-2, what I will do, I will log into my Hugging Face portal or Hugging Face account. If, if we are to only download the models, we can use an API token that is read-only. However, if you want also want to upload your fine-tuned models back to the Hugging Face Hub, which you can access just like any other model from Hugging Face Up, then you need to have a write access token. Okay, so write access tokens have certain limitations. You can go to the Hugging Face portal and just as we created the access tokens earlier, let me show you. Okay, if you go to Hugging Face, the access token section, so currently I'm using a read based token. If you want to create a write based token, you have to change it to write. Okay, or create a new token with the write access. Okay, now you have your access token, you have logged into your Hugging Face portal. Uh, like very simply, earlier we used to use get pass. Now this is a, dif a different version wherein using notebook login, we are logging into our Hugging Face portal. I've created input queries. Uh, basically, the second input query as you see here is in a specified format. That is an instruction based format. 
we shall see uh, next when we now we shall see how to create the database what a data set what are the data set formats that are understood by auto train so we stood we saw how choosing the base model next we are going to see how to create our data set for the fine tuning task so there are two different data set formats one is the alpaca format and the other is the guanaco format okay you can use data sets already available in the hugging face portal in these formats or you can create your own data set in a csv file based on this format let us first see the alpaca format so in the alpaca format you have basically the instruction the input and the output the instruction is the input is optional okay you may or may not provide the input you have you need to have an instruction you need to have an output additionally what we do we provide a prompt so see for example here the prompt is below is an instruction that describes a task paired with an input that provides further context so this is the prompt that we are specifying and we are saying that write a response that appropriately completes the request now for this particular prompt now this prompt shall be fixed across your entire fine tuning task you can keep this fixed next we shall with three hashes now these hashes are specifically designed to help the model understand that here your instruction is starting here your input is starting so make sure to use these hashes with three hashes we give our instruction basically the instruction that we have here then since we also have the input we are specifying the input and finally the response see and see another example here here we did not have an input so we pass the instruction and they directly pass the response so both these work fine and this is the alpaca format by default we keep the column name as text we'll see when we define the commands for auto train that we need to pass this column name so only this particular column is necessary for fine tuning our model and this needs to have the various parts is instruction input response with a prompt okay now let us see the guanaco format i'll attach the links in the description as well so that you can follow through and prepare your own data sets okay your data set needs to be named as train.csv if you are using your own data set and you need to provide the folder path within that folder path the name of the file should be train.csv with the corresponding column in this format so in this guanaco format so basically in guanaco format is a chat based format wherein you have a human and assistant interaction assistant is basically your ai model so a human says something in return the assistant gives a response then again based on the response received the human let me show you yeah the human again raises some questions or counter questions and then the assistant will have to give the response so this is the chat based format that is used in the guanaco so basically both these uh, like both these are two standard formats that you can use your for your data set for your tasks now next we shall see the auto train basically how what are the different commands what are the different options that we need to specify for auto train here here i loaded the base model the pre trained base model with an lm head in order to just compare the results i could not find much difference because we only trained for two epochs as well as gpt2 is a very small model so for smaller models uh, uh, you might you might not get much difference in terms of the results unless and until you train them appropriately like with more number of epochs the loss should minimize of basically that is true for any model as such okay this is the encoded input pre trained tokenizer dot in encode input query return tenses these are standard across any hugging face model then output is pre trained model dot generate and encoded input we pass as a parameter so we get the desired output pre trained tokenizer dot decode output zero write a short introduction about the term biopsy the term biopsy is basically gpt2 is a text completion model or text generation model it tries to complete the next tokens since this is a smaller model it is not able to complete the entire paragraph or generate the entire paragraph appropriately but this is just for an experimentation purpose you can go ahead and use your own models use different models and experiment play around with it now i tried to find out the documentation relating to the command line utility of auto train i could not find much information in that regard so here within the notebook itself we shall use the help command to figure it out so auto train basically provides some uh, 
uh, various functionalities relating to app relating to llm setup we already saw setup that is used for upgrading your packages upgrading your requirements llm is used for fine tuning and training your llm models deploying them inferencing them then specifically for text classification image classification here you need to only care about this the setup as well as llm if you're working with image based models or uh, like say for example stable diffusion or any other image image generation models then you need to use dream booth okay that is a separate task maybe we can cover it in another lecture let me know in the comments below okay so now auto train llm help so we see there are various fun functionalities various commands including train deploy inference data path just if if you use this command you'll get all the options available go through it train split data path data path should be the name of the repository or path of the repository where your data file is present it can also be a hugging face repository okay you can either use your own or you can use a hugging face remember when you are using your own repository or your own data the data needs to be prepared in either alpaca or guanaco format with the column names with a specific column name and the name of the file should be train.csv okay this is a basic requirement train split valid split text column so name of the column where you have that corresponding data learning rate num train epochs train batch size so these are the standard hyperparameters that use for fine tuning or training any neural network model okay now let me show you one important thing here is use peft in our earlier video we talked about peft parameter efficient fine tuning which helps you to fine tune models such that it minimizes catastrophic for if you don't know what catastrophic forgetting is, make sure to watch this video. I'll attach in the i link above after watching this video as well as in the description. So let me brief you about it. Catastrophic forgetting is like whenever you try to put in newer data or uh, the data that you're using for fine tuning, it might so happen that there is some loss of existing information in any large language model. This is known as catastrophic forgetting. So PEFT is a technique that minimizes this catastrophic forgetting and there are two there are multiple techniques basically there but there are two popular techniques that are you that are within pef lora and q lora discussed about these in the video you can check in the i link above okay so use pef we we shall use this functionality okay then another thing is i want to show here is use int for if you want to use a quantized version of the model since we are training on google collab with limited resources we shall use a quantized version so use int for is basically uh, a version that will use a quantized model okay or quantized version push to hub if you want to push your fine-tuned model back to hugging face hub and then use it as and when you require or you can keep it locally as well if you do not provide this functionality the model will be downloaded locally okay if you provide push to hub functionality then you also need to provide the repo ID so basically when you create an account on hugging face Hub, you have to create their a repo id where you are going to upload the models okay and provide this repo id here so that the models or the corresponding model weights would be uploaded to the hugging face folder in that repo id so it's very simple to use and very straightforward there, there is no complexity just go through this and then it will help you very easily so now you understand these are the various functionalities let us head over to our fine tuning section okay so we are using auto train LLM, LLM is because we want to work on the LLM, a large language model. Then we use option train. We specify the project name. Basically, the project name will be the name of the repository that is where your model files are currently downloaded. Okay, so you can see all the corresponding files relating to your tokenizer, relating to your model weights, right? These are getting uh, saved here. Okay, then we specify the model, GPT-2 model, the data path. Since we are using this data set from Hugging Face Hub, so we directly specify this path and we are fine tuning here. Right? This is a conversation based or chat based data set. Then use PEFT, use INFO, specify the learning rate, batch size, train epochs, trainer, SFT, simple fine tuning. Okay. So basically, a bag in Hugging Face, there is a separate trainer. That trainer, this auto train is built on top of that trainer as a wrapper to help you with the training process easily model max length this is the number of tokens that you are using for input 
okay so with this your model shall be fine tuned and then you can load your fine tuned model as auto tokenizer from pretrain the name of the repository auto model with lm head the name of the repository and you can very well use so right just like any other model you can go ahead and use your model now now you see like since our model is currently i i again wanted to fine tune it but it's taking some more time it's 40 percent complete so far but from the previous result i see that the results that we generated based on fine tuning for a single epoch were not very good or it does not provide much difference in comparison to our base model basically we provided the human to write a short introduction about the term bio3 explain it to a 10 year old so the assistant resp doesn't respond anything instead it just gives a two new line characters so we see we need to fine tune it further and that is what i'm trying to do here okay i'll attach this notebook in the description uh, you can go ahead check it out play around and then work on your own models so uh, now the next is fine tuning llama 2 model similar to the gpt2 based model you can use the llama model if here we are using a sharded version of the llama model one of the questions that you might have is what is the difference between sharding and quantization so sharding happens when you are you are training any llm on distributed gpus or multiple gpus with minimum overhead right quantization on the other hand is when you are converting your parameters or your weights which are normally in a double precision to a floating point precision or an integer precision. Basically, you are reducing or compressing your model. That is quantization. And when you are enabling your model to be trained on multiple GPUs at the same time, that is sharding. It is a new process developed by Microsoft, Microsoft Research Team, basically. Okay. So with this, I hope you learned something new. You would be able to train your own and fine tune your own models. Make sure to share your results in the comments. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Jai Hind. If you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up.